Good day, viewers. Welcome to Benway's People's TV Online Makudi and to the platform Better Our Society. I am your host, Nyamkume Dobe Josephine. Better Our Society, this is a platform where we discuss issues bordering our country and the possible ways on how to tackle them. In today's edition, viewers, we will be looking at open defecation. Of course, we've been hearing about open defecation on radio, television, and other media services. But some of us don't really pay attention to this or really know what this really means. This is an act whereby we abandon our toilets and go in search of open places in the environment, such as the bushes around the street, or the forests around, or uncompleted buildings in order to defecate or ease ourselves. This act is actually harmful to our health, social life, and economy, but still yet we engage in it. Now, what are the reasons why people engage in this act? People engage in this act because of lack of toilets. Mostly in the rural areas, you discover that in a particular compound, there might not be a toilet. Even if you happen to find one, you discover that people will have to queue up before they can ease themselves. Some people, out of impatience, decide to go to forest or path or streets around in order to ease themselves. Let's say you're on a journey and you press, you discover that there are no toilets around. They may decide that, okay, they'll go into the nearby bushes in order to ease themselves. Some people do not know the benefits of toilets and the effect that follow when they partake in open defecation. In regards to this, they go about defecating in the, the bushes around. There are some cultures that emphasize on the privacy of women and girls. Some cultures demand that the father-in-law should not share the same toilet with the daughter-in-law. In regards to this, one of them will have no choice than to go on with the practice of open defecation. Now let's look at the harmful effects. Talking of the health effects, we get sick of course. When the rain falls, the fecal pathogens get mixed up with our water which when we consume, we end up contacting typhoid, trachoma, cholera and other infections. When we talk of social effects here, we mean that when you get sick, you cannot go out to meet with your friends, you cannot join them in their celebrations, you cannot go to church, and so you are distracted. The children, they cannot go out to meet with their friends, not even to go to school. Talking about economic effects, you can agree with me that the money in which we would have used to invest will now be used on hospital bills. Also, if you're not healthy, you cannot go about your businesses or the office duties. Open defecation and its consequences, having viewed ought to be stopped. In this regard, let's look at the possible measures that can be adapted in order to curb this problem. If toilets are being provided in areas such as mostly the rural areas where they don't have toilets, those who, due to lack of toilet availability, go into the bushes in order to ease themselves can now make use of these toilets. And also, the toilet should be made in a sexy way, in such a way that when someone sees it, there should be this urge to use the toilet instead of going to the bushes around. Also, there should be awareness. Government organizations have the duty to enlighten the people on the dangers of open defecation and also to help them see the need of making use of their toilets. Parents should also take it as a tax upon themselves to educate their children on the dangers of open defecation, both on the uh, environment and on our health and as well as our social lives. Government should make and enforce strict laws, not just making laws but also to enforce these laws that anyone that is caught engaged in this act should be punished severely or even imprisoned having viewed open defecation and its consequences you can agree with me that there is every need for us to stop this act in order to meet up with the un's development plan that seeks to do away with open defecation as well as our country's target to be able to eradicate open defecation in the year 2025 the duty to do away this op with this open defecation is actually a duty for you and I as an individual. I hope you had a nice time. I am your host, Nyakimedubi Josephine. Please don't forget to subscribe to Benway People's TV Online Makudi. Thank you. See you next time.